Hello everyone and welcome back to JR and today we have a very special guest. We uh we've been low on a top level NASCAR drivers, but today we have NASCAR truck series driver and soon to be Xfinity driver, Anthony Alfredo. How are you doing today, Anthony? I'm doing great. I appreciate your time and having me on the show. Yeah, and we're glad to have you on the show and uh we've been kinda short on interviews lately, so uh we're we're glad we can get you on. Yeah, no, it's perfect timing. Obviously, just had the big announcement last week that I'll be competing in the NASCAR Xfinity Series, so it's great we can talk about that news and uh, that, for those of you who don't know, um, know about that now. Yeah, and I was actually just about to get to that, but uh, this year you made 13 Truck Series starts with uh, DGR Crossley Racing, and you scored two top tens and led for three laps. You had some solid runs this year, but ended after Rex, like a... And it, just getting caught up, the truck series is known for Rex, definitely has the most one. And so it just ends a lot of drivers' day, a lot of talented drivers. So, But uh, you, uh, even though you hadn't had the best year in trucks, you s showed your potential when you scored a win in the Kane and East Series in 2018. And that gave you a part-time Xfinity ride in 2020. Do you think you'll be able to run like you did back in 2018 in Kane when you run Xfinity next year? Yeah, I definitely believe so, and I, I sure hope so. With the crew I have around me and the equipment I'll be able to be driving, uh, I have a huge opportunity to go out there and compete. I'm obviously, it's a big step in my career to go compete at that level. Um, the truck series is a big jump, and this is even a bigger jump, but I'm looking forward to it. I've got the right people around me to help make that transition go smoothly, and obviously the uh, Richard Childress Racing Infinity team just won the Xfinity Series championship uh, in Homestead, they won the race in the championship, and they, they won six races total. So I'm really looking forward to working with those guys and then having Austin Dillon and Tyler Reddick on the cup side to lean on as teammates uh, to learn from just with all of their experience as well. Yeah, and uh, like you said, they just won the Xfinity championship. They're probably one of the best Xfinity, if not the best Xfinity team running this year and next year. So, uh I, I definitely think you'll be able to find some success in that car, and they, they got a lot of young drivers like yourself in their system. So, uh, yeah, I, I definitely think you'll be able to find some success. Yeah, me too. I appreciate that, and uh, I'm definitely looking forward to it. And uh, one question, too, I know a lot of people have been wondering, do you have any plans to make any more truck starts in 2020? I don't as of now, but I would most definitely – be uh, more than happy to go run in the truck series more. I'd, I'd really like to, honestly. And I didn't get to uh, end the year off on as high a note as I would have liked just because of a blown motor in Homestead before we even took the green flag, actually. It was probably one of the craziest things that, that's ever happened uh, to most people racing. So I'd love to go out and try to, uh, you know, run another truck race and, and have a good, a good race. I think... Um, I've gotten a lot of experience in the truck, so I'm confident I can go run really well on the right equipment. And to be honest, I'd be happy to drive anything next year. Obviously, I want to run some more Xfinity races if we are in the position to uh, you know, go compete in some more than we have planned now. But I'll drive anything and anything, so um, I'd love to go do that if I could. Yeah, and like you mentioned in Homestead, uh, you didn't get to start the race. That's actually there. I was sitting in the grandstands, and... Uh, I was like, oh, yes, Anthony Alfredo's racing tonight. And then I was up in the grandstands, and I'm watching, and they took the green flag, and I'm like, where'd he go? And then I realized you were on pit road. So I was really sad when that happened. But hopefully that won't happen next year. Yeah, I hope not. I think, uh, I think we'll be able to prevent that just because the Xfinity cars running the built motors and not having as many problems as the spec motors seem to have. Yeah, and uh, so another question. What are your expectations for next season? That's a great question. I think definitely starting off, I'm just looking to qualify in the, in the top ten and finish in the top ten and then work our way up to top five starting positions and top five finishing positions and hopefully, you know, get a few goals and maybe even a couple of wins by the end of the year. But overall, my ultimate goal is to get as much experience as possible but run as successfully as possible in order to help us secure some more funding, gain as much exposure. But like I said before, obviously the – learning curve and gain the experience so that in a perfect world we can go race full-time in 2021 and compete for a championship. 
Yeah, no, the Xfinity series is known for having a lot of young up and coming drivers win. So I definitely think you'll be able to score some wins, and even if you don't, definitely top five runs. You're with the best Xfinity team, and you're one of the best up and coming drivers. So I definitely think you'll be able to perform well next season. Thank you, I appreciate that. I agree. And so one question a lot of people ask too, and so how did you become interested in racing, and how old were you? So that's an awesome question, and I love answering this one because I'm, I have a similar story to most people, or, or a similar upbringing, I should say, because I grew up a race fan. Nobody in my family raced or anything like that. I kind of pursued it on my own and had uh, family and parents who supported the idea and were uh, supportive of me personally, so... I was very fortunate in that sense, and like I said, it really just was sparked by my interest in the sport from watching it growing up each and every week on the weekends with my parents and, and going to a couple of races. My first race was the 2012 Daytona 500, so I would say that was probably when I got hooked. I was about uh, 11 years old at that time, so that was, uh, you know, I had been watching it before that, but going to my first race in person was really what sparked the fire inside of me well, yeah when you i started becoming interested in racing when i went to my first race too i definitely think when you uh go to a race and you get to feel the experience that uh gets you really excited in racing and uh that's like i watched racing on tv a little bit but i was never really a race fan but when i when my dad took me to our first race at talladega i immediately became hooked and uh about a year later i started doing this that's awesome. I love hearing that, and it's really cool what you're doing because you're young, and so, um, you know, soon, sooner than later, you're going to have a very successful career in maybe media or podcasting if you want to keep doing that just because you're getting the, putting your name out there and getting it started at a, a much younger age than most people. Well, thank you. That means a lot coming from you. And so now to wrap things up, we are going to do the fan question presented by my brother, Keelan O'Neill. What is your favorite type of music? My favorite type of music? Yes. My favorite type of music is actually classic rock. I'm a big rock guy, most kinds of rock music, but definitely classic rock like um, Iron Maiden, Ozzy Osbourne, Black Sabbath, all that kind of stuff. Yeah, I, I like classic rock too. I'm more of a old music person, not like 60s or anything, but like old music. Everybody in my class is more like Old Town Road fans, so, but I'm uh, more like you. I stick to older music, and uh, I saw your favorite band was uh, ACD, is that correct? It's actually uh, Iron Maiden or Black Sabbath is probably my favorite. Uh, I have one of my helmets, I actually have uh, Eddie, the mascot for Iron Maiden, painted on the back of it holding the checkered flag, which is pretty awesome. Oh, wow. I, I, if I ever became a race car driver, I'd definitely probably put something like that on the back of my helmet, so I, I think that's really cool. Thank you. Yeah, it's definitely unique. Anyway, well, thank you so much, Anthony, for being on the show. And everyone, please make sure to like and subscribe. And thanks for watching. And we'll see you next time on JR.